Hi and welcome to episode number 14. We will finally do a very much needed maintenance on the Blue Landy and our last days in Georgia we will spend them in the amazing Caspegi area. Just stopped by a very big um, workshop um, called Tejeta Motors. They have several shops uh, around the city. Sadly, they don't have any spot right now to do an oil change, so we are going to another workshop uh, a bit later so they can maybe take us in the waiting list. We selected the Jetta Motors because they have really good oil here. At first we thought about only buying the oil and doing it ourselves, but after checking the prices it was just not worth it. And considering that we are going to go to Iran in summer, we also are changing our oil type from a 5W30 to a 5W40, better for higher temperatures. We are done with the oil change, it was pretty fast, we didn't have to wait much in line, so that's great. And we need to find now a valve to, to close our faucet, because um, even if you have it closed, uh, it's leaking every time you use a pump, so we need an additional system to close it and open it when we want. We got all the parts we need to fix our sink. So we just put a small valve and a hose connector in between so we don't lose more water. Well, this is crazy here. There's a complete street with car parts shops, repair service, everything you can think of. Everybody comes into the street, it's a complete chaos, but everybody finds what they need, so I guess it works. <laughs> We are searching for some brake pads because I brought the wrong ones. I brought for the Defender 90, not for the 110, and they're different. So we're trying here in Tiflis to find some. So far, we are not lucky. So we came to this shop that it was recommended in another car park shop and they have a lot of spare parts. So if you are in Tiflis and you need something, just come here, so Autobani. We are going to go to another shop because they have another dealer. Looks like we got them, it was efficient, we went in, five minutes later we had them. We paid 70 lari, that's around 25 euros. and we are just seeing trucks park on the side non-stop and we are thinking all these are going to Russia which is in around 100 kilometers so it's going to be crazy Between there were not so much trucks, but now that we are coming closer to the border, it's pretty clear that they're all waiting to cross.
we arrived at the camp for tonight. We are in the region of Kasbegi, but in the neighboring valley. We wanted to continue a bit. There are some mineral sources around here and back there is a fort. But there is a military post and they told us we cannot continue and we have to drive a little bit back. That's what we did. And now we just built up camp, hang the laundry that's still a little bit moist. This is what happens when we just don't have enough time to dry. <laughs> we just need to hang everything because everything is moist. But that's great because we have a net here so we can hang everything. <laughs> we just have the heater on so it works. And everyone, including us, thinks you need a 4x4 to get here or to travel the world. Most locals drive two-wheel drives. That's a 20-year-old Ford Transit and he made it here. Probably not as fast, probably it will break more often, but in the end he makes it. Grazing absolutely everything! I greased up both prop shafts, I checked all the drive flanges if they have enough grease in them and I topped up our right swivel housing. I know we need to check on that one every once in a while, it's leaking a little bit to the outside. The left one we had done before we left, so that should be okay, but the right one was a little bit low on grease, so we topped it up. and. Uh, I had a quick check underneath the car, everything looks pretty good. We're still leaking a little bit of oil at the transmission, but that's not too bad. And we will keep an eye on that. Yeah, looking back at the last 10,000 kilometers, the car actually did pretty well. We uh, prepared it pretty good. We had some minor issues like one was the fuel leak you can see in one of the videos before we can link it here it was an issue i knew before i thought i fixed the fuel line but it didn't hold as long as i was hoping so um, that's kind of like on me and um, the rattling that we had on the rear axle from the retainer of the spring it's also yeah it's like it can happen not too bad just tie it down and that's it other than that um, yeah our faucet is leaking right now but I just blamed it on the faucet it's probably pretty bad qualities um, yeah but other than that everything went well and the trip can go on, the next 10,000 kilometers can come.
Kai was so nice and prepared some pancakes. We need to pack really quick because we check the forecast and it should start raining very soon. Yeah, those clouds are coming our way. We are leaving this amazing place and we are going to go to Utah. Palim, palim. Kai couldn't wait. <laughs> he already started. <laughs> There are hundreds of them here. They will be beautiful butterflies in a couple of weeks. After enjoying a lot Casvegi area, it was sadly time to leave. 
Our friend Alex had already confirmed that he would be coming to Iran to visit us. That means that we have about a week to cross Armenia and get to Tehran in time to pick up Alex. But that's a story for next time. you.